What's going on guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name is Lloyd and again I have my very special guest Mr. Dave Parada back again. Dave Parada is back again and we're going to look at another set of text messages. So this isn't going to be as bad as some of the messages that we've looked at in previous videos. This is probably something that you guys are sending uh, to a lot of the girls that you're interested in. So uh, what's the context uh, about this particular conversation that we're looking at right so, now? So basically it's a dude who is uh, just a subscriber of mine, hit me up. And he's like, man, I keep having these situations where I talk to these girls mm -hmm. for maybe like a week or two, and then I go for the meetup, and they just completely drop off the face of the earth. Yeah. And so basically, he started the conversation with this girl. It was going well. Then things kind of fell apart, and he doesn't know why. Yeah. So he got this girl from uh, some some dating app, right? Like Tinder yeah, or something called, like, like that. The league. Yeah, it was called the league. <laughs> Special uh, special dating app. All right, so let's take a look at uh, at this conversation. Okay, so he's talking to a girl called Becky. Becky is not her real name. So then uh, he first writes on uh, December 19th, I see one of your interests is yoga. You'll have to show me your crane pose sometimes. And then he put like a, one of those little uh, tongue, tongue out tongue, tongue out, tongue out emojis, yeah. I think this is actually a good text. Like like he he, he looked at her profile and said, okay, she likes yoga. This is gonna be a good topic to talk about. Mm -hmm. Let me let me bring that up. And you know, it's a, it's a solid opener. Yeah, I think I think it's great. You know, it's funny, it's nice, and uh, comments on shows that he's actually taking the time to read her profile. So there's a lot of good things with it. Then she actually keeps it going. She goes, "I actually." So this is what the girl says. She goes, yeah. "I actually almost became a yoga instructor, just didn't take the exam at the end. So I hope I'd be up to par." Uh, so she's playing along with the yoga line. Playing along, yeah. And uh, he had the opportunity to continue playing along with it, but instead. Uh, he goes, well, he kind of played along with it for a little bit. He goes, ha, admitting you need more practice, question mark. Much respect for your confidence to do so. So that's actually not a bad compliment. I think he's starting out okay so far. Um, but then what he says after that, um, he says, what stopped you from taking the exam? CPA studying, question mark. What do we think about that one? I guess you must have asked something about being like a CPA in a profile or something uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, but, but bro, it's like you had this great topic of yoga. There's a lot of different places you could have take, taken that scene if she was flexible, you know, joked around about that and teased her, built some attraction. But instead you bring it from a really fun subject to one of the most boring topics on the face of the earth, yeah. accounting. Come on, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, dude, and like look at the response that she says after that. She says something like that. It was earlier in college and I knew I was going to be taking a lot of classes to be a CPA eligible after that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not even going to read the rest because uh, you, you did accounting, didn't you, Dave? I did accounting. That shit was boring as hell. Yeah, and like for a person who doesn't do accounting, it's boring. For a person who did do accounting, it's super boring. So as you can imagine, this is probably not the best subject to be talking about yeah. with a girl. And she just, like you just started this conversation, you're getting things going. She doesn't want to talk about the finer points of like the CPA exam. Like that's not, there's no way you're going to be able to make it flirty from there yeah. and build any attraction. Yeah, you're shooting yourself in the foot. In my experience, when you get a when you match with a girl off a dating app or something like that, the best thing to do is just to tease them about their profile, keep it fun, lighthearted, uh, and then move in from there. But uh, he he didn't keep that going. Well, his mistake he's trying to like build this like super deep connection right off the bat mm -hmm. when he doesn't even have any attraction there yet, right? Yeah. What he should have done is kept teasing, kept it fun, and then like boom, she's attracted. Then get her out on a date. Then you know maybe talk about yeah. accounting if you so choose. Then and build those deep connections. Yeah. Then. You know, you're not gonna you're not gonna have miracles over text messages. Yeah, especially not like the, the third text of the conversation. Yeah. The best thing you can do is go for fun, playful, and uh, teasing, and that's probably the best like yeah. that's gonna keep her interested. In yeah. Getting. So uh, so instead of instead of teasing her, he just kept diving a little deeper into the accounting stuff with his next text. Yeah. Saying, I hear I hear you. I had to take a break from my college dance team to prepare for my CS classes. Sounds like accounting is demanding. What drove you to study that? <laughs> well. What a riveting question. Um, and he took two days later to respond, which is not the bad part. The bad part is exactly what Dave said, which is that he's continuing on a subject that uh, it's not the most exciting, not something that's going to get a girl excited to go out on a date with. I mean, think about it. Who do you think she's going to go out on a date with? The guy who wants to talk about the CPA exam or the guy that's being fun, playful, and teasing her? It's no surprise that she didn't respond to that. Yeah. She doesn't want to be talking about accounting on, on, online. So then a day later, he doesn't give up. He says, please don't tell me you didn't spend Christmas studying. So we're continuing with the CPA exam. He's, he's trying to save it. <laughs> He's trying to like make it a little flirty, but bro, you've already gone too far. It's not. It's not the worst thing he said, um, but it's definitely. It's definitely not the best. 
Um, and so then later he pulls in a freaking Hail Mary attempt. Yeah, so he, he throws a Hail Mary about like two and a half weeks later. <laughs> says, hey, what are you up to tonight? Let's be spontaneous and meet up. Of course, she did not respond to him. How often does that text work? When you when you randomly out of the blue, you haven't messaged this girl, she's been kind of ghosting you, and you say, hey, let's meet up. Dude, that, text, that text is never gonna work, especially with the way that the conversation fell off. Like, it's not even a, it's not even a 0.0% chance, it's, it's 0.01% chance, it's a 0% chance, man. Like, if you do want to reinitiate after a long time, it's possible, but you kind of want to start a little bit of rapport and then go into the meetup. If you just say, hey, let's meet up when you've been ghosted by a girl, 0% chance she's gonna respond uh, and 0% chance that you're gonna get a text back. Because if you think about it, nothing has changed since the conversation ended, so yeah. why is she gonna do anything? Exactly. So, that was the bad version. Um, and let's take a look at the better version, what uh, we probably would have said. And so Dave wrote down the better version that uh, we're gonna read right now. Uh, so yeah, so this is how I would have gone with it. And uh, so at the beginning, it's the same, same opening text where he says, I see one of your interests is yoga. You have to show me your crane pose sometime. Like, I think that's not a terrible thing. Yeah, it's yeah. solid. And she comes in. I actually almost became a yoga instructor. Just didn't take the exam at the end. So I hope it'd be up to par. So here, this is where we go in a different direction. Instead of like, like oh, that was very confident of you to say that. And like trying to qualify her or like mm -hmm. start getting deep. Which wasn't terrible, yeah, but it wasn't, wasn't the best thing. It was just too soon, man. It was, it was yeah. too soon. And you have a great topic. Why not keep, keep yeah. it with it? So, so the new text would be, you might have to teach me some poses. Just promise not to make fun of me if I'm not as, as if I'm not as flexible as you. Yeah, keeping it going, keeping it playful, keeping it fun. This is exactly what you want to be doing at the beginning when you first get someone uh, as a match or uh, whatever they call it in the other apps when you first start messaging someone off a dating app. Yeah, especially with a topic like yoga that has kind of sexual connotations to it because it has to do with these body movements. Like it's a, it's a, it's more of like a. It's an intimate type of type of exercise. Something that's yeah. probably going to get her more excited to talk about than CPA. Too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> which, would be, which really would be anything. You talk about paint drying, you're more excited than that. <laughs> so, so from there, he responds. Uh, she, she or she responds. Ha ha. Okay, we'll see. Uh, I am pretty flexible, so I won't go easy on you. So, uh, that's giving him a challenge. He's playing ball. This is yeah. going great. And then he would come in and say. You've already got me intimidated, but I think we need to get drinks before we do any yoga. I, I don't show, I don't show my posing skills to just anyone. Exactly. So he kind of gives her a challenge too. So like you say, he's going tit for tat here. Like they're going, it's, it's a very good flirty conversation where they're both kind of challenging each other. They're both doing a little bit of push pull. It's fun. It's playful. It's exactly what you should be doing at the beginning. And also too, rather than getting derailed by a very deep conversation, um, he's going for what Tinder and all these dating apps are supposed to do. Get you to meet up in person. Yeah, and he's, and he's doing it by creating this like this fun, flirty story about yoga and drinks, and it's like, it's just like this this whole little world that they've created. It doesn't seem like a your average boring let's yeah, just go get a totally. drink and see if we like yeah, yeah. type thing. Yeah, they, they already they have something to connect on, which is yoga, and like they're, yeah. they're gonna get the drink. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, and uh, so from there, okay, okay, that's fair. And then he could come in going for the meetup. He could be like, listen, there's a cool bar on Brook Street called Me Fatties. You want to grab a drink there Tuesday or Thursday night? Boom, he's going for it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that was pretty good. So we're, we're going, we're already talking about going for the meetup. Now, if she gave him a little bit uh, of resistance there, maybe he's trying to figure out her schedule um, and then do some of the stuff that we talk about in other videos, which is basically how to set up a date after you've gotten a girl's number. Um, but yeah, dude, I thought that was like pretty good. You know, that's a lot better version. It's a lot more fun. She's a lot more excited to meet up with this guy. Um, and she didn't ghost him. Yeah. <laughs> and the good thing too about giving like two options to hang out like Tuesday or Thursday night, that way if she's not free in one of the nights, hopefully she's free the other night. And if she's not free at all, she's probably going to give you a different day. Like, Oh, I can't do those. But how about like Friday? Yeah. And you, she's not gonna be, Oh, I can't do those. Like, sorry. You know, Perfect. Perfect. usually so. Perfect. Yeah, that was really good. So basically, uh, if you guys are looking to get some uh, text conversations analyzed, or you wanted us to look at them, um, you should send them to. You can send them to me or Dave. You gonna take a look at this or any channel at all? I'll take a look at them too. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right, cool guys. Well, that's the video on texting. If you guys want to check out more videos on texting and how to text girls the right way, check out our texting playlist right here. Yeah, hey guys. If you want to check out my channel, I'm always. I put out two videos a week to help you get the girls you want and become the man you're meant to be. Laura's gonna link that up in the description and I'll see you over there. Cool, good luck out there you guys.